Builder Hall 6 is coming and some people are about to get roasted. Welcome back fellow fans of Clash of Clans. Yes, it's that time. It's time for the Builder Hall update. Yes, the Builder Base is getting upgraded to level 6 Builder Hall and all of the accoutrements that come with this new upgrade, including a new defense and yes, we are going to see two crushers, crushing dreams, and uh, a whole lot else. So, yes, the game is changing. It's continuing to grow, and lots of stuff is being added. We are going to take a look at some of this. Now, unfortunately, I can't go into the values and the hit points and the damage of all of these structures simply because, again, this is the developer build, and the numbers have not been finalized yet. But what I can show you right here is all of the new structures that come with a Builder Hall 6 upgrade. So the biggest one, of course, and probably the first one you want to get is the fifth camp. That is going to increase your chances of grabbing those high percentage attacks. And right away, one of the cheapest upgrades to grab lots more units. Now, obviously, the roaster is going to be huge. The second crusher going to be monstrous as well. Another archer tower to put in there. And then... Of course, you've got uh, the mines, not quite as significant as the other defenses, but altogether, a big change. Also, of course, you've got the wall sections, so the base getting bigger, getting more complex, and it's just like Clash of Clans was back in the old days when we just had Town Hall 8. Um, you know, we add those Town Halls later on, and that's just the way the game works. So hopefully people have had time to get to Builder Hall 5, I'm curious, let me know. Have the free-to-play players had an opportunity to get to Builder Hall 5, or are they still at 4? My free-to-play account has fallen behind a little bit, simply because I've been playing so many other games and pushing hard on my main account, which, of course, I will probably use to gem up Builder Hall 6 and uh, show off some of these new defenses and offensive uh, tactics but we'll get to that in just a moment for now this is the lineup of the new stuff that comes at builder hall 6 so again the camp probably most important the archer tower crusher roaster the two mines and then the new sections of walls now we will run through and max out everything on this the developer build so a little bit of help from the developer build and a little bit of help from video editing as we run through now a key to remember here now look that archer tower that's pretty cool looking at level six like that a lot uh, the key to remember here is that all of these structures level up even with the builder hall i like this it makes it easy to remember so all of your structures are going to be able to be maxed out at level six so here comes the crusher all the way up to level six again the archer tower and all of the other structures in the builder's village are going to go to level six. So easy to uh, do the math right there. If your town hall, your builder's hall rather, is level six, the structures can get up to level six as well. And your troops that were maxed out at level 10 with a builder hall five will now go to level 12 with a builder hall six. And I really like, as we level up the roaster, I like how the lattices and the ladder work and uh, the scaffolding or whatever you want to call it disappears as we get to level six. It finally looks completed, and there it is. The roaster looks like a, uh, I don't know, a, a teapot that spurts fire. I, I don't know. It's a cool effect, and we will see it at work in a few minutes, and it's definitely a new and very feared defensive structure, and especially it was really the crusher before. Now I feel like the roaster is the one we all have to watch out for, and it's going to alter the direction from which people attack bases. So the Mega Mine also getting an upgrade to level 6, and I'm not going to waste your time with the regular mine, but obviously the regular mine right here is going to go uh, from level 1 up to level 6. All right. And now the bad news, or at least the part that people are going to spend a long time upgrading, the walls. Now, I do like the look of the level 6 wall, and of course, with air attacks, there's not that much of a need to get your walls maxed out. So will we see a lot of level six walls? Well, I'll show you my level six walls once we get there. But again, the magic of video editing is gonna take us up to this brand new level six wall for the first time. See if we like it or not. 
I don't know what do you guys think. It's kind of got like a brass look to it. It's definitely not wood in there. Um, personally, I like it. I think it's cool. It's nice that it's different. So we get all the walls up to level six, and there we go. So even though it's 20 new wall sections, it's only four new wall pieces. So it does limit a little bit the ingenuity that people can have with their bases. There's just not as many wall pieces to move around. I kind of like that. It does force people to really value the placement of those walls. We've seen some weird stuff up till now so far, but there we go. Four new wall sections to play around with. So we go back home and yes, of course, everything else is leveling up. So that includes push traps, which I didn't show upgrading. You've got level six push traps, your hidden Tesla, of course, your single and your double cannons, both going to level six and the firecrackers, the air bombs, everything else upgradable to level six. So this is going to be significant, you guys. This is a big move from Builder Hall 5 to Builder Hall 6. We are going to see a necessity for a lot of loot being gathered in order to get there. So again, I want to work on Builder Village setups with you guys in coming episodes. For now, we're just going over the upgrades and we've forgotten one. That's right, the battle machine. If you were unfortunate enough not to have it leveled up to five, now it's going to go all the way up to level 10. And the battle machine, another big boost on offense. Level 10 battle machine. Where will the madness stop? How far will we go as we upgrade this battle machine up to level 10? And I got to tell you, a lot of fun using that extra charge, that repeated ability. So cool that it's not just a one-time thing like oh, back at home with the Archer Queen and the Barbarian King. So there we go. Battle machine to level 10. We've got Night Witches coming into the game. And now it's time to go deep in depth into the Night Witch attack meta. Okay, now I have to qualify this, you guys. It's the developer build. Balance changes are probably coming, and you're about to see why. Five camps of level 12 Night Witches. That's two Night Witches each. Dropping them out in the corner here. And look at the amount of bats. It is crazy. The amount of bats that come out and there's not a great deal of splash damage in fact almost none if you take a look you've got the roaster that's doing a great job on some units but the air bombs the only real splash damage to air units that's going to grab a lot at once and these bats are just absolutely devastating this village no way you're going to stop them the level 10 battle machine is really not even needed. I mean, he can tank a little bit, some of the archer towers and things like that, but right now, you guys, Night Witches are crazy overpowered. I would really, really expect that we don't see this after the update drops. I would anticipate that there's going to be a reduction in the number of bats they produce. That is my guess, or maybe they'll be slower, but in any case, this is really all I saw. So again, figure there's probably going to be a change before the update drops. Right now, Night Witches are super crazy strong. So some comments. The Gaming Russian says, you do realize the common consensus is that Pekka is either a robot or a guy, right? No, she is a female. That's been confirmed. Lincoln Fred says, who loves the new look of the level 15 cannons and archer towers? They have plastic and it's awesome. Is he being serious? I, I don't know, I kind of like him. Next up, Super Fire Flower says, tired of using walls for your art? Introducing tall grass. That's right, send me your designs for a future episode. Also, Jarrell Jackson says boxer giants and archers are the best combo at Builder Hall 4. I would tend to agree. Super strong right now. Next comment. Tony says the builder base is annoying. They need to stop matching me with builder base fives constantly. You may have too many trophies. You might need to drop just a little bit so that you're not getting overmatched. You might just be too good. And Supercell Gamer asks about the quest to 6,000. Well, you guys. They did not fix the clouds back at home, so I would not expect that I'm going to develop the patience to sit in the clouds at that many hours a month. But let me know what you guys think, what you want to see. Thank you, as always, for watching all the way to the end of this episode. Get ready for the Builder's Village update. I love you guys. You are the hashtag Galafam, and I appreciate your time. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Come back again tomorrow, and I will promise to bring you some more full attacks.
Galligon. More full attacks, eh? Your threats don't scare me. 